were just coming into land at an airfield famous in the Battle of Britain, Biggin Hill. Uh, Biggin Tower, this is Golf Alpha Victor Echo X-ray rejoining your circuit for landing, over. Echo X-ray Biggin, join right hand for 2-3, the QFE 9-0-9-0-4. traffic controller is Janet Hoare. She's 24 years old, is married to a pilot, and holds the pilot's license herself. It's a full-time job, but there are 14 flying clubs here. Most airfields only have one, with more than 2,000 members who hold pilot's licenses and use them as much as they possibly can. From over there in the control tower, Janet and her assistants look after an average of 500 arrivals and departures every day, for Biggin Hill is one of the busiest civil airfields in Europe. Janet manages them all so efficiently that she makes air traffic control look as easy as shelling peas. And you should see what she has to cope with once a year, when Biggin Hill holds its international airfare. Ten different countries took part in this year's fair, and there were over 150 planes on show. That's the Sky Van, a versatile plane that carries passengers, or freight, or both at the same time. Fifty of these planes have just been sold to the United States. Over 100,000 visitors came to the fair, and there was enough going on to keep all the members of the family entertained. Incidentally, those smoke patterns aren't made by planes, but by a team of parachutists making a free fall. They're the Red Devils of the Royal Air Force. Moving quite far from the direction opposite to everybody else. Three down, they're moving. Would-be parachutists can get a similar feeling in the fairground, which is part of the show. Well, I'm going to have to say goodbye now because it's going to get very noisy around here in a minute. The climax of the show is a display of precision flying by the famous Red Arrows of the Royal Air Force. And I don't think even I can compete with that. This is Judith Dryden saying goodbye from Britain.